Hi, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And I'm so happy to be here today with the beautiful Chrissy. Hello, Let's everyone. <laughs> Everybody, I'm really excited to show you because we're going to do something a little different today. So, how long have you been a blonde? I've been a blonde since I was a little girl. Okay, wow. All right. So, have you, uh, you've never dyed your hair brown or red or anything? I have once or twice. The color doesn't hold, so I go back blonde really quick. Yes, <laughs> I, I get it. So today, what I want to do is, I know your comfort is blonde, so I've chosen five wigs, and I'm going to put them on her in blonde, and then the number two color is going to be a surprise color. Because so many of you, now that you are seasoned Godiva Secret wig wearers, like me, we switch around. We do whatever we want. And, but for Chrissy, it's different. So if you're a new wig wearer, just watch this. You know, when we're used to seeing ourselves, like Chrissy, Chrissy's used to seeing herself one way, one color for decades. So it's scary and it's hard to unstick yourself. So my goal is unstick you. <laughs> Not that you have to dye your hair, keep your hair the way you love it, but the options are other wig colors and that is where the magic really starts, I think. So I'm first gonna put your hair in a little pony. So how do you secure your hair when you have worn wigs? When I've worn wigs, I usually um, roll it up and back in a, almost like a um, French. Okay, bring it back up here. Right, and then I bobby pin it, mm -hmm. put the wig on, and then pull the bobby pins out okay. the top. All right, so whatever works for you. Most of you know I make a bun way down low because that becomes the anchor for the wig but it doesn't have to be that way. Whatever you like and are comfortable with, but if you have thicker hair, please don't make a bun up top here <laughs> if you're new, if you're a wig virgin, because it's going to make the top bump up and it's not gonna lay flat against your head. So, okay, here we go. Can you move your bangs out of your way sure. a little bit? I'm going from long to longer in this video. So, the first one is Diana in Creamy Toast. No roots on Creamy Toast, and it is a lace front, lace front. And I'll show you, gonna blow your mind. So, see down, I have it down low, and I always start a wig down low and then slowly I bring it up to the hairline, right there. So a lace front is if you ever, I know you like bangs, but right. I'm, I'm showing you, if you like hair off your face, you're gonna flip for a lace front. Can you see this? I can't see anything, it's right in. It's, it's unbelievable, it's unbelievable, <laughs> really. So this is Diana. So why don't you put your hands in, Diana? And you know, it's fine to use a brush, and I have one here if you want it. Personally, with my own wigs, I'll give a wig a little brush, and then I get in there and just play with my hands. So that's... Oh, this is fun. Isn't that cute? So this is like the length of your hair. Oh, I didn't get your little bun in there. Now you've got to feel good. And this doesn't lump out in the back garden. Not at all. You can feel that down low, but I put the bun down low where your neck goes, starts to go in. Okay. So no, you can feel, you can feel it. You cannot see it. Let me show you. Diana, so popular. And uh, I believe we're doing it in large. If, I, if I'm wrong, Danielle, just say oops on this video. But I think we <laughs> just did it. Now, look. Oh, it's fun tucked. Isn't it great? So this color, fabulous for you. Nobody would think twice. And you've no, got I your wouldn't. long bangs that I know you love. I love my bangs. <laughs> yeah. And otherwise, you've got this great fringiness on Diana. Now, and this will stay put through anything. 
Well, we have a great video, Eight Ways to Secure Your Wig. I love two metal clips. If I'm, let's say normally, I just slap a wig on and go, but I, my head is a little bigger, I have thicker hair. Okay. So I would suggest we do something called a wig grip band, and it's Velcro down here. Uh, you'll see our videos, but it comes right around that sticks, or I love our metal wig clips, just two up here. Okay. And some women have flatter heads in the back. They'll say, my wig is coming up in the back and I don't know why. Typically, it's because, you know, you're, you're brilliant, but you might have a little flatter head. So just wig clips right here, teeth going up. And so that will keep your wig down. But isn't that great? That is great. Okay, so now close your eyes because I am giving you Diana in a little different color. Don't say anything, Mom. <laughs> and don't open till I tell you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is Red Spice. I'm make sure I'm giving you the right name here. Red Spice. And I'll oh, tell fun. you, a hot tamale is what you will feel like when you wear a red wig like Red Spice. Isn't it amazing? It is. It's fun. And I chose it for you because Chrissy wears <clears throat> makeup she's got blush lipstick her eye you know all of her eye makeup and so each color i can put any color on her realistically and you'll see some others on her in a minute <laughs> but the red just pulls the warmth up. look at her cheeks look at her skin tone this is a lot of fun hot redhead <laughs> uh-huh and it does something so i this is what i want you to do is like what you're doing, just getting in touch with colors. I mean, that's why we have different colors in our wardrobe. And when we're feeling down, we pick some colors that lift us. So I know when I put a red wig on, I'm feeling different than when I'm a blonde. I'm just a little sassier and maybe a little flirtier. You know? <laughs> so yes, let me turn you around. So same wig, two different colors. Okay? Sounds good. Well, let's keep going. And when you're not wearing our wigs, just turn them inside out. That's it. You can lay them, watch our video. Uh, I think it's 11 ways to store your wigs, <laughs> but we have over 550 videos on our Godiva Secret wig channel on YouTube. So check them out. So that's how I store them. And if I'm traveling, maybe in an afternoon, sometimes I take my wig off in the car while I'm driving somewhere, or I switch wigs midday. I will even take it and roll it and put it in a purse. Okay. I do. I mean, women do this in the airport. They, they do it all the time. Our wigs uh, are so easy to care for, not to be nervous, ladies, okay? All right, next wig. I think you may love Taylor. So I'm choosing this Taylor Creamy Toffee R. Taylor's got bangs that you're gonna flip for. So these ear tabs, you always wanna make sure they're even. Okay. <clears throat> And if you don't like something, you won't hurt my feelings. So I want to round the bangs out a minute. So let me show you why I love this. It's got two speeds and perfect. Sometimes in shipping, the bangs will get a little, a little funky. And so just this, you see how it just rounded it out? Right. That's how easy it is. And I put my finger in there to force the hair to go around the uh, brush. And you can even use it down here if you need. 
Oops. Now, after storing, do the bangs just bounce back? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fun. A little more, I don't know, a little darker blonde than I'm usually Creamy going Creamy toffee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So every wig I'm showing today comes in many different colors. But, uh, so this is the one I chose for you right now. But you know what? It's a fun you, length, though. The, your hair is perfect right here. Is that you or the wig? That's the wig. Okay. <laughs> so, but look, here you are. But right here, I love even pulling the hair around the ear. And it's just for something interesting. It is. It's fun. But this is Taylor, a little longer than Diana. Oh, yeah. I mean, Chrissy can wear anything. I'm so spoiled today, honestly. Because <laughs> I could put a paper bag on you. You'd look amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Sweet. So, close your eyes. You all close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open. This is such a popular color in a wig. Don't open yet. It's the red again, but like this is Irish Spice R. So let me show you, let me show you all, and I'm doing this for you redheads. You've been wanting to see some red wigs. So red spice and Irish Spice. This one's a little darker. A little bit darker, but it's still, when you look at it, it's got little blonde, just very, very subtle highlights. Right. But not as bright. And our reds are not hard looking. Because I used to be a redhead, and you don't want, I don't want that for you, and I don't want it for me. So I still want a feminine, sexy it's soft. red. It is soft. And look at your eyes pop. They do. <laughs> and you're going like this. A lot of fun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so with Taylor, I can still pull it back. So some women will get Taylor home. They're like, oh my God, it's too much. It's too much of everything. So many times it's only because you're not used to it. So I can easily take some of this hair, pull it back, take some of that hair away from the face just to ease you in to more hair. Leave some pieces, make a little mess in the back and clip it. Simple. It? It's simple, it's no big deal. It's just getting used to it. So look at that. And again, I didn't do it perfect, but you get the idea. So look, fun. look, everybody. What? It's very fun. Oh. So easy. So I want to show you the back. Oh, that's cute. I love the lines. Isn't it great? It is. It looks very natural. Very, very natural. Mm. And for your temples, say you, you have really super light hair or gray hair, we sell something called Masca Gray. And it's all different colors of a hair mascara wand. So we have a red. Okay. You can just put a touch of red, but honestly, you don't need it. Yeah, I don't notice it. You do it. not need, you don't notice it. Okay. And many women, <clears throat> excuse me, are different colors right here That's at their cool. toes. Mm -hmm. But look at that, and you still have your long bang. So that was Taylor. Let's keep going. I'm taking you longer and longer. <clears throat> excuse me. So we're back to Champagne R, I think one of your favorite colors. Yes. Champagne is like a platinum blonde. It always will come with the roots because that allows more women to wear this light color. Because if you have an olive complexion or you're typically darker hair and you put a light wig on, it looks like a costume wig. Okay. So your, your eyebrow color makes it so you can wear any color, any root or no roots. Okay. So this is our brand new Parker in Champagne R. 
So you're going to see this is a flatter, closer to the head. Lace front again. So you just get in there and play. And I have to for one minute, only because it's brand new. I want to just take some of this back. It's not as much hair, which actually is kind of nice on my, to frame my face mm -hmm. a little better. This is a monofilament wig. So if you are looking for flatters, meaning not machine teased. Now, are monofilament wigs cooler? Really doesn't make too much of a difference. It's okay. because there's less hair at the top, it's a little bit lighter okay. than machine teased. But all of our wigs are open wefted all the way around, every wig. So your scalp can breathe. Our wigs never inhibit your hair growth. And actually, I have many clients, including my sister, they wear a wig every day for 20 years. And they have great hair, it feels great, and it's thick. And I think it's because they're not blow drying, they're not coloring. And I'll even, normally a month or two every year, I'll wear a wig for a month or two every day and just take it off at night. You don't want to sleep in a wig, I suggest, unless you have something exciting going on and then go ahead. <laughs> and, um, but after that time, and I don't color it, I don't blow dry it, nothing, and I deep condition it. And after that time, my hair feels amazing. So wigs never, well, not never, it depends how you wear your wig and what you do with it. But from my experience and our clients that could dive a secret wig, no worry about that. So yeah, closer to the head. And I love the color. It's a great look, that's champagne, champagne R. So you can put it behind your ears. You, you know, you're not gonna get the fullness at the top, but who cares? Right, but I'm getting the length that I right. like. Right, this is Parker. This is Parker. Really That's pretty. Got a, a nice tapered cut too. Yes, yes. It's a lower density wig. Okay. And so you can feel that it's just not as much hair. Many of us want, none of our wigs are fat and thick. They just are not. But for those of you that want really thinner, low density, we are bringing them in for you and we're really proud of Parker. Isn't that pretty? It's fun. I like okay, it. close your eyes. Time to be surprised. I can't wait to get this on you. I saw that little picture of you. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Parker again. Chocolate Frost. So not my favorite color on you. No. Okay. And so you tell me what you see, why it's not, and I'll tell you what I see. Um, the blonde looks too, the, the dark is a little too harsh, I think, against my skin. Okay. And then the blonde makes it look a little too gray for me. Mm-hmm. So chocolate frost is a little more, you would call, to the ash tone, cooler. And so there is no warmth in this color. Many of you, you don't want the warmth. So chocolate frost is for you. But when I'm looking at your cheeks, your skin tone, the co your coloring, your lipstick you choose, this is not the color for you. It's too cold. Right. And now if Chrissy changed her makeup and darker eyes, darker brows, a different lipstick, it would be possibly different, but that's not where we are today. So, yeah. Now, I want to just, well, let me keep going here, but I have to throw this on really quick. Because I still want to see you even darker. So, this was not in plan, but <laughs> I've got to put Candace on you in Chocolate Swirl. Because I just want to see the color. 
And this way, you all can see the color too. So it's not a cold color, it's not a warm color, but it's like this is, chocolate frost is a middle of the road color for you. So I like to see you more oomphy or pale blonde. Yeah, it needs to have the punch. This mm -hmm. is definitely better than yes, the chocolate frost. Yes, right? Much better. Now I'm looking at your eyes, your eyebrows, beautiful. So that's just the difference in the browns. This is chocolate swirl. So I wouldn't look at it and say it's a warm brown, but it's not a cool. You can go either way. Let's say that. You can go either way with it. So what do you think, Mom? Just for color. Yeah. It is pretty. I like the red if I'm going darker. Okay. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go further now. Taking you longer. Oh, Rachel. Vanilla bean. Rachel is a gorgeous lace front mono. Look. Okay, very see-through. Look at this. So let's see if you can see. Can you see my fingers right here? This is all see-through, hair by hair, and a lace front wig. And this color is Vanilla Bean. So you play. But look at that color. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See, I say you play and I got my hands in there. <laughs> okay. Now, is it possible to cut bangs into one like yeah, this? You can cut bangs into any wig. So did you hear me too? Because many of you, if you love a style that we have, but it's not exactly what you want and it's missing bangs or it's too long, trim it, thin it, trim bangs into it. Not difficult at all. Mmm. It's very interesting. Longer length. I do like the length. <laughs> Mom's giving that mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Oh, because a lot of times when I get the lane, they start to get too, too much hair for me. Mm -hmm. No, Rachel, beautiful. Let me turn you around. So I hope you're enjoying this and look at the length. So it's a little bit longer than what you can see. I think it's about two inches longer than what you can see, but it is gorgeous. Again, mono meaning flat, so you're not going to purchase Rachel if you want it teased up and full because it doesn't do that. It's just easy, beautiful. Look at her side view. Look at that profile. Would you ever know that was not her hair? Looks great. Oh, yikes. Yeah, it looks very seamless and smooth. Oh, <laughs> love yes. it. Yes, good. Love it. Okay, close your eyes. So this is Rachel, lace front mono, in another little color. Oh, my red is back. <laughs> <laughs> now, this red is called Sangria. So not every wig that we offer comes in every single stock, in every color that I'm showing. So every color doesn't come in every single style, but many of them do. And so I'm showing you some of the beautiful reds in these styles. So this one's a little darker than the other ones? A little darker, and it's got root. And will you just look down a minute? I want you to see. This is zigzagged right here. And you can do that. Okay. So you can part a wig, try it different ways. People will say, ask me, hey, can I, you know, I always part right to left. Will this wig do that? And my answer is maybe. I mean, it depends how you coax the wig. Danielle and I, we make choices and wigs come in looking and parting on a certain way. But I will always, when I get a wig, I'm just trying it. 
And most times I'm like, oh yeah, that works. And sometimes I even like it better than the way that we originally intended it. So, yeah. It's fun. Again, I just have to cut things in. Mm -hmm. And so look down just a minute. So this hair can fall in our face. Okay, look up. So I just want to show you a really simple tip, so easy, is to take the hair that's falling down. Remember, we could put bangs on here. Take this hair, bring it to the side, grab some hair on the side, and just slightly back comb it together. Oh, that now holds nicely. Head down so it doesn't move. Right. That, that holds really well. Yeah, so it's a great, the simplest little secret that's so powerful when you have, you know, long hair without bangs. So really beautiful for those of you that want to see this gorgeous, gorgeous Rachel in Sangria. Here she is. Here's the back. Ooh la la, that's all I can say. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we have a last little comparison, even longer. I think you may love her. And this is Thin Candace in Sandalwood, uh, let's see, what Sandalwood H, which means highlighted. So, you have not seen this color yet, okay? but again, it's really close. It's got a little warmth to it. It's actually a really good match to you. Okay, play with her. Now you look like Lady Gadot. <laughs> So for those of you, we, we offer a wig called Candace and Thin Candace. So while we're on this video, I'm just going to show you because I put this on you already. Okay. This is Candace. And so this way you and our viewers can see the difference. So Thin Candace, fuller, you know, just amazing. It's quite an experience to wear and it comes in red. <laughs> <laughs> but so thin Candace is can you see the difference it's a little flatter it's flatter it's just it's less hair okay it's just less hair and many clients trim thin Candace up to any length they want doesn't have to stay this length so this is the difference they're both machine teased wigs and the lengths are the same the lengths are close okay but it's it's so funny years ago you know, I don't know, couldn't come up with a better name, Candace and Thin Candace. So maybe we should have named her Christina, I don't know. But, um, but they're very, very similar. And I can put bangs in my Candace, I can trim it shorter. I used to have clients that loved Candace so much, they'd have me trim it up here, all the way to here because they loved the face framing. This, the face framing. Exactly. So. Just a picture, you can change any wig. You can customize it for what you like there. A nice little bob. A nice little bob, and I put a little fringy bang. I mean, it, it takes a long time to get I'm this sure. wig short <laughs> and looking right. But I just wanted to show you. So what do you think of Thin Candace? I do like it, I like it a lot. I'd have to try it compared to regular Candace again. <laughs> okay. So let me just show everybody the back here. Really pretty. And it looks really natural. Well, we're on a busy street, ladies. <laughs> okay, now close your eyes. Our last wig for this video, but ooh la la, I'm this is one I'm also excited to get on you. Thin Candace, don't open your eyes, in almond spice. Okay. Oh fun. It reminds me of Jenny's color. 
Who's Jenny? That's my sister. Oh. She's a brunette. Okay. So almond spice is so fun because it's got these blonde highlights right around the face. It makes it softer. Not it softens it and it brightens around the face. I mean, when, I, when my hair was dyed red, I'd always have them put more. I said, I want to feel the sun in my face. You know, I want to feel like I have sunlight. So I love that. It's fun. It's very pretty. And there you have it. So I think this has been a really great video about seeing. So are you a little more unstuck in the blonde? I'm would more you unstuck. would you try perhaps sometime a red or a brown? I would. I would. It's a lot of fun. Especially with the holidays coming up. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me again. My pleasure. Great. Love having you as a model. <laughs> and thank you so much. And I can't wait to read your comments. You know I answer every comment. So, oh, and, right, Linda? Our Facebook group page, Godiva Secret Wig Community on Facebook, it's so active, right? It's terrific. The women are so supportive. They're so encouraging. It's yes. Amazing. They're all nice. They never make a nasty comment. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come up and put your face in here a minute because you have to meet mom. Hi, I'm Linda, mom. alias mom. But yes, the group has photos. I mean, it's going so quick, I can barely keep up. Danielle and I are addicted to it. I am too now that I joined it. Really? <laughs> oh my God. Last week we got almost 300 new members in one week. One wow. Week. Yeah. In one week. So, well, because, you know, it's also just fun. You know, it's just fun to watch everybody. And it is. Get your estrogen. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I'm feeling home or I don't feel great or I feel lonely or I don't have a date or whatever, I'm on this Facebook group. Group. and I just love seeing the women and women will post questions and wig virgins will come on and say okay this is my hair what would you suggest and the members you know there's some really amazing the members will put different wigs on and take put take a photo and put it on so you can see the same color but in a different style Right. It's, if the person is asking, well, what would it look like in this? Or what would it look right. like in this? What would it like in the sun? What, I uh, know. And everybody's so accommodating. It's amazing to me. It's amazing. I thought I was the only ham in the group, but clearly <laughs> I am not. <laughs> so, so join our group. Get part of this wig magic. And we'll see you soon. Okay? Bye. Bye. Bye.